Hello, it's Reverend Phil. I hope that you're well. Wherever you're watching this, I hope that things are okay. I'm going to light a candle as we begin our time of collective worship together. Whenever we light a candle, it's a reminder to us that God is with us, that God loves us, that even if things feel difficult or dark, God's light continues to shine. Today, in our collective worship, we're continuing to think about this school value we have of thankfulness saying thank you for things. In the last couple of videos, Reverend Helen has taught us the sign for thank you. Can you remember what it is? Thank you. Thank you. Over the last couple of videos, we thought about giving thanks for people who help us, for giving thanks for creation. Today, Remembering to give thanks to God for everything. We have so much that we can say thank you for. For 10 seconds, turn to the person next to you and tell them what you had to eat yesterday. It could be school dinner, a snack you had, whatever you had for breakfast. 10 seconds, tell each other, one person, look to the person next to you, what did you eat yesterday? Okay, turn to another person, maybe somebody the other side of you or behind you, and tell them what was the best thing you did last weekend or what you're looking forward to doing this weekend. Ten seconds. What was the best thing you did last weekend or what are you looking forward to next weekend? Ten seconds. Off you go. Okay, this time, have a look in your pockets or think about what's in your bag and tell somebody else what is in there, in your pocket or in your school bag. Ten seconds, off you go. Our Bible verse for today says this. Always give thanks to God the Father for everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Always give thanks to God for everything. Everything. There's nothing too small that we can't say thank you to God for. I want to tell you a little story. And the story is called Sleeping with Bread. Sleeping with Bread. That's right. Sounds a bit odd, doesn't it? Well, listen carefully. Get yourselves comfortable and listen up. During World War II, thousands of children lost their homes. Some of them lost members of their families too. The fortunate ones were rescued and placed in refugee camps where they received food and care. But many of these children, who had lost so much, found it really difficult to get to sleep at night. They were afraid of waking up to find themselves without a home, or waking up and finding themselves feeling lonely, or waking up with nothing to eat. Nothing seemed to help them get to sleep. But somebody had the idea of giving each child a piece of bread. Holding their bread, these children could finally sleep in peace. All through the night, the piece of bread reminded them that they'd eaten today and they would 
eat the next day, that things would be all right. A simple piece of bread. A piece of bread to sleep with. Most of us have lots of things that we can be thankful for. For our food, for our clothes, for our school, for people to talk to. So for a moment, let's be quiet and let's pray and in our minds, let's say thank you to God. I'm going to lead us in some little prayers. It will be a time of quiet. And after each little time of quiet, we'll say together, thank you, God. So let's pray. Let's think about the food that we eat, the food that we enjoy eating. For food to eat. Thank you, God. Let's think about the clothes that we wear, what we're wearing today, what we might wear when we're not at school. For clothes to eat. Thank you, God. What about the people that we like spending time with? Let's think about those people for a moment. For people to talk with or play with. Thank you, God. What about our school, the things in our classroom, the people in our classroom? Let's say thank you to God for those. For our school. Thank you, God. What about our homes and the people that we live with? Let's say thank you for them. For the homes we live in and the people we live with. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, for all that you give us. Help us to remember to say thank you for everything. Amen. And we'll join all our prayers together in the words of the Lord's Prayer. And you can join me in the actions if you'd like to. So let's pray together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. Thank you for watching. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.